how's it going everybody electron man we're gonna do a little different one today we're gonna see what we can do with this SLR uh, Canon Rebel XT EOS I think it's the EOS 350 is what they call it it's an 8 megapixel probably about a 10 year old SLR I actually uh, picked this up at a yard sale for five bucks and uh, it don't work I mean they told me it didn't work when I bought it and uh, sure enough I've tried everything I even I've got about $20 invested in it now because I bought some new batteries for it thought maybe the battery was why it wouldn't power up but for whatever reason it will not power up and I've got a good battery in it and and I went online and I searched every single one of the uh, hacks or fixes that they had out there and not a one of them worked I checked all the shutter doors there's a little switch down in here made sure it was working there's also a little switch over here on the uh, SD card door yeah, so they did come with a two gigabyte SD card. Woo. And uh, check that little switch that's right here. When this door shuts and slides down, there's a little switch that it connects to right. You can see it when you look in the little hole. But uh, I actually uh, held it down, and it didn't. Uh, it didn't make any difference. So anyway, we're gonna see what we can do with. Uh, taking it apart um, I figure for five bucks I'll get the entertainment at least tearing it apart I looked up there I really can't find any videos on it so as you can see I'm just gonna I took the battery out I took the uh, lens off I took the SD card out we'll take the little viewfinder it snaps off there take it off and we'll just start unscrewing it and uh, we'll work along on this together and we'll see how hard it is to get this thing apart and see if I can't figure out why uh, why she's not powering on. The shutter seems to be okay. Um, you can see through the viewfinder and it has a few things that will pop up on the LCD screen but it will not power up for nothing. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of start taking screws out and see uh, how hard this thing is to get apart. I figure for five bucks I'll get the entertainment of just taking it apart at the least. I'd sure like to get it fixed but uh, we'll start with just uh, taking it apart and maybe do some basic troubleshooting see if we can see uh, if there's any burnt components or a loose wire or if it's, uh, if it's got a bad board which then more than likely it'll go in the garbage can but I'll, I'll have a good lens and I, it came with a nice little case too so I have a case of lens and a, a, a SD card or, or a uh, compact flash card so I, I'll get my five dollars worth out of that stuff so anyway let's go ahead and start taking her apart okay well I think I'll just start with these screws on the bottom here. Looks like there's five or six of them here. And we got nothing to lose there. Fortunately I have it on video so if there's any that are longer or shorter I can notate it. But we'll just uh, we'll start removing screws until uh, something comes apart on it, right? One up here front. The one up front was a little bit longer. Have to remember that. fit quite as good as I'd like for it. Let me try a different Phillips head here. I don't want to strip any of these screws out. Let's see what else I got as far as Kind of tough, that's a, a special screw. And let's see here. Those screws there. 
wired a couple of screws here. I can't tell if that's some special type of screw or not. Try this one. So far, all but one of them have been the same size. That's a longer one. Remember that on this side here. Longer one on this side. in that one but it didn't want to come out. Come on out of there. That was a longer one, too. Okay. So I got all those ones. Oops, I got one left on the bottom here. Another long one. To go back and review this video to remember which ones are long and short. Okay. Is there any screws underneath this case? A little watch battery out of it, too. I don't see any screws there. And we got two more screws on this side. Hopefully, you're getting all this. more short ones. A little bit longer than the shortest. Those are middle ranged ones. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take these two screws out. Like I said, I got five dollars in it. <laughs> Another long one. Another long one. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm getting some movement here. Okay, well we got the screws out. It kind of wants to move on that side, but I'm not going to rip it out. Uh, let's see here. We got any other screws here? No screws here. No screws there. Got those two screws out. All the bottom screws out. No 
the screws there. Oh, there's another screw. No, that's not a screw. Okay, well we got the screws out, but we're uh, we're not getting anywhere, huh? That's probably why they charge so much to fix these things, right? to do to get this thing apart now. It's like it's hell there. Got the bottom one out. I'm just looking for any other screws. tricky one up behind the strap thing medium one okay let's keep looking for screws got these two little spots here on oh, dots. I'm wondering if there's a screw underneath that dot. I don't know why they would cover that up though. Yeah, let me just pry it a little bit to see. Because there's like, I don't know if you can see those little spots, but those little dots. I wonder if there's a screw underneath that. That's just a, like a sticker. No. It's not. So what do we got to do to get this thing apart? I see two more screws down in there. Let's try those. Long one. in a bit. Hey! We're close. Aha! Uh -huh. Two over here. I 
got it. Check it out. That looks like one of them tablets. Understand how those come out. Well, it doesn't slid. Yeah, they just slide out, but I think they're supposed to lock, and I don't see. Maybe not. Maybe they just, they're just the edge in there, and they just slide in. Anyway, I got it apart. Don't know how hard it'll be to get them back in there, but... It just don't do nothing. Maybe they just slide in. Okay, now then, let's see if we see anything obvious. Well, we'll, uh, we'll get off video here. You don't want to sit her, I mean, sit her staring at it. I'm, see much further I can get it apart. I'll come, come, come. Well, guys, as you can see, I have managed to uh, completely take the case off of this uh, Rabo XT uh, SLR camera. By the way, don't take this ring off. I spent 30 minutes getting that little spring back in there, and it didn't help me take it off. But, uh, yeah, if you take all the screws off in your channel, uh, there's two real screws that you really need to catch in there where the little uh, hangers for your uh, neck strap. There's a screw that's in the diagonal on both corners down underneath on the back of that. Uh, let's see here if I can find the piece here. Yeah, if you find this piece right here, that's kind of hard to see. But anyway, yeah, just... So anyway, uh, moral of the story is, yes, you can take these apart. Had it had a bad LCD screen or something, man, it'd have been an easy fix. I might go out there and look around and maybe find one with a bad LCD that the rest of the camera works and go ahead and use the parts off of this one and get a good one. But uh, um, my findings are this, as simple as this. When I got her open, I had one little uh, screw here. Let me see if I can get that, that little screw right there. If you can see that or not. It was rattling around on the inside. And I guarantee you, it was right in the main board area. I guarantee you, it was right up in this area right here. I guarantee it shorted it out, and uh, I wish I had a di di uh, diagram on this, a schematic, because it might just be a blown fuse, that screw might have shorted it out, but um, I've looked it over and I can't find anything obvious as a screw, I mean it's all super small SMT technology here, um, I'm going to have to say the camera's a basket case, and I had a lot of enjoyment taking it apart, I not do now, but I can now take an SLR apart, and I can put this back together, I didn't break anything in the process, just took my time. Uh, on these cables on the back that I was first having a hard time with, I figured out that what you do is the black part, if you look here, the black part, it folds up. 
So you just fold it up. That's how you pull the cable out. But you slide it in and you just fold that back down. And that's how you get those cables out. And that's the way they all are. They're little flip ups that like this one here. What you do is you flip. See how it flips that little lever, that little deal right there. That's how you take that off. But after I figured that out, that's a piece of cake. But I got the camera. I mean, it's completely apart. I'm into all the. I mean, I could replace any board in here. Uh, it's just you know, who knows what it shorted out. It might have took the CPU out. Like I said, if I had a schematic, I would try to find out if there is a fuse or a resistor that blows, you know, when it shorts out. And maybe try bridging that one or replacing that and see if I can get it going. But, hey, for five bucks, I think I got my money's worth. And, uh, you know, hey, it makes kind of an interesting video. It does show that you can take these apart. I was kind of scared to start with that. I have to break it to get it apart. But you take your time, make sure you get every screw out. And you, you kind of got to wiggle and pry a little bit. But if you're real gentle, you can... As you can see, I've got this baby apart, and I mean, I'm now to the point where, you know, about four or five screws, I could take that board out. You know, four, what, four screws, three screws here, and uh, you could get this main board out the back. It's just a bunch of connectors, uh, ribbon connectors, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can, this is definitely component-wise. I definitely see why these things are, you know, uh, this is probably about $600 10 years ago, and I, there's a lot of technology in here, and there's a lot in this little package. I realize now why these uh, SLR digitals are so expensive. There's a there's a lot of moving components inside of here. Shame on this is the shutter's fine. Um, a lot of times the shutter's where you have a problem, and also the compact flash slot's fine. It's just a screw. And you know I've been out there reading the forums, and I had read a couple other people said they when they shift the camera they could hear something rattling around, and I did it to mine and noticed that rattle. So you know really it's uncannon. You know maybe a little Loctite would have saved a, a bunch of these cameras from dying, but. Uh, Anyway, it comes down to the synopsis is, is uh, one little bitty uh, half a cent screw coming loose over a period of time and rattling around in the main board area, fried it. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked this video. It's kind of a little bit different. Thought I'd give it a try and, you know, hopefully you got you learned a little bit. You definitely learned uh, how to get the front of it off and the back of it off and, well, get it down to, to a bare, uh, bare module. Too bad, uh... It's not more serviceable once you get inside. I mean, God knows if I could even find a board. And I got to looking, and these cameras, they don't really go for a whole lot, surprisingly, as an SLR. Uh, if you buy a body only and I have a lens, you can pick them up for around 50 bucks off of eBay. So I might just pick up a good one and uh, since I have a lens and I bought two brand new batteries for it and I already have an SD card and uh, have a little SLR, I wouldn't mind having one. I don't have an SLR camera. but. Anyway, have a great day. This is Electron Man. If you get a chance, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.